here's kind of the way that I was thinking about this uh, going into this week. Normally in baseball, it, it sounds silly to talk about must wins or it sounds silly to bring a season all the way down to a small sample because that's just not the way baseball works. Like I look at Logan Webb start on Saturday and I saw a lot of frustration all over social media and beyond. Like, dude, you're the leader of this team. It's Colorado. They stink. It was a game you had to have. You have got to go out there and shove. That's your job. And I sit there and I look at it and I go, well, but, but hold on a second. Like, it, first of all, it's Coors Field. He had one breaking ball not break. You got a 2-2 game in the sixth inning. And for some reason, Bo Mel tried to, he tried to take the blame for that home run. Like he said, he he yeah. rushed he he rushed Logan. He told him to slide step. Slide step because there's a runner on base, and and he thought that that maybe flattened the pitch out. Is that a Steve Kerr? Is he just blocking for his guy? Right, maybe. But the bottom line for me is is I'm never I'm not going to make Logan Webb's season about one pitch in the sixth inning in in Colorado. I'm not going to do that. However, we've reached a moment. We just have. And how the Giants, I want to take this from media talk to, like, real, relatable Giants fan talk. How they play this week, in many ways, will determine my desire to spend any money on this team the rest of the year. As a fan? Yes. Wow. Yes. And the reasons for that, are, are there are many, it, but but it, it's timing, partially, um, and it's also based on expectations and promise and and all of that. If you are going to, in this time and space in Bay Area sports, if you are going to head into two months of well, let's kind of look at uh, Casey Schmidt over it. <laughs> if you're going to do that for the next two months. All apologies, I care, but I don't have time. I don't have time for you. I will still turn it on. I will follow it. It's my job. It's my passion. But 49er training camp opens tomorrow. And and Larry Markinen Day is August 6th. And Warrior Camp will be opening before you know it. And um, and And friends are texting on the daily right now trying to plan which weekends are we open so that we can get together for fantasy football drafts? This is what we're doing right now. And I personally, this is not a threat or this is not angry. I've only got room on the calendar and in my bank account. I've only got room for a pennant race. That's it. So get your butt in the race or... I will loosely see what you're doing in the months of August and September and check back next year when there may or may not be a new Pobo and there may or may not be a new third baseman and there may or may not be a new shortstop. Right. There may or may not be a new right fielder. All of these things may or may not be a new second baseman. I will check back then with my dollar. And, and that's the point that I think Giants ownership is looking for right now. And I'd like to firmly give them my answer. Right. I'm out. Yes. And you're out if over the course of the next eight games, which you mentioned it, eight games in seven days, you have a doubleheader coming up this weekend. And if you go three and five in those eight, and then now you're six games below 500, and you don't feel like you're in the race, if you, as a P1, as we use radio parlance, a diehard fan, a guy who goes to between eight and 15 games a year, you're a real one. You're a fan no matter what. If you get to that point in the beginning of August where you're checking out, what does that mean for fans like me, second tier, or third tier fans who maybe only go when it's going to be a thing? Those fans won't go, and fans like me are less likely to go. And if you're not going to go in August, in September, then it becomes a real indictment on, like you said, the entire organization because right now, 48 and 52, you have 62 games left to go. That's a lot of games. And you're only three games out of the wild card, but it feels like you're kind of stuck in the mud. And if fans like you are thinking about checking out, 
That's a bad sign. There's a lot of games left, but their record also has to be really good. I mean, I think we use 85 wins as kind of the barometer. I don't know that that gets you in. Um, I don't know. It feels like it will. It feels probable, but it also feels like a target of like, you're not going to get in with much less than that. 85 wins is 37 and 25 the rest of the way. Does that feel realistic to you? Easiest schedule in the game, sure, but 37 and 25 off of going one and two against the Colorado Rockies. The Cardinals right now are on a pace to win 85, and they are the second wild card. And the Braves are only two and a half games ahead of them, and the Braves are fading based on all their injuries. So 84 might get it done. Maybe. But even to your point, to win 84 from here would be 36 more you gotta, wins. you got to play a really good baseball. 36 and 26 yeah. to win 84. That's good baseball. That's really good baseball, and that's yeah. better baseball than you've and, played throughout the first 100. And and the Giants don't play good baseball. And 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 so... Consistently, Well, yeah. you can add, you know, everyone does the who's to blame thing. You know, okay, president of baseball operations. Well, you're the president. Okay, the manager, Bomel, you've been unimpressive. Is the pitching staff? Is it the hitting? I, my God. I could sit here and you could bring up every one of them, and I guess my answer is yes. Is it their fault? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, and I'm looking at little things. You want to get mad at Logan Webb because he gave up four runs? Fine. I'm mad because he forgot to cover first. Right. Again. I Well, he thought Tyro was going to get it. He thought wrong, and there's no expensive price for just starting to run that direction, it's your job. When the ball gets grounded to the right side of the field, you veteran number one starter you. I don't get it. And that's what gets me in sports when a team doesn't look buttoned up. Yeah. Okay? Fair point. Wait, what What are the overtime rules? That's <laughs> what gets me in sports. Not wins and losses. Not I gave up a run. Button your asses up. It, 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 it's 100 games in. 